Intel uh, is the market leader in what's called integrated graphics, and that's graphics that are integrated into the SOC and notebooks or, or desktop. And it's really been IBM, sorry, it's really been uh, AMD and NVIDIA who have been pushing discrete graphics for, um, for forever. But black and white, Intel is now in the discrete graphics market. And this week it announced uh, Arc 3, 5, and 7 for mobile. And that's not for smartphones mobile. That's for uh, notebook. So uh, I think it's been since 1998. I'm going to have to go uh, double check with the i740. Uh, they brought out their last discrete, but uh, I, I want to, you know, instead of getting into the the nuts and the bolts of the technology, because what I've seen is is at least for Arc Three, which uh, announces today, and then Arc uh, Five and Seven uh, available early summer of this year, which I believe is a is a is a push out uh, of that. I thought they were all I thought they were all coming uh, here. Um, it's a good, it, uh, there's no other way to look at this other than positive, right? There's very few black and whites that us analysts can put our hats on, or for that matter, even uh, you know, retail investors or people like that. But this is a black and white, right? One day Intel isn't in the discrete graphics market and, and now uh, it is. And I think that's the thing that should be focused on. And the 357 is exactly what you would expect, right? Different tiers of performance, uh, and and power draw. Intel is calling uh, Arc Three enhanced gaming. Uh, Arc Five, sorry, oh Arc Five advanced gaming, not to be confused with enhanced gaming. And then Arc Seven for high performance uh, gaming. Uh, we really don't have any uh, any of the deets uh, on on five or seven. Uh, looks like OEM support is uh, is pretty strong. At least the the ones that we were briefed under under NDA, uh, the the uh, it looks like the what I'll call the um, leader uh, SKU is a it's a design from uh, Samsung that was announced at uh, at CES uh, 2022. Uh, the final uh, it's called the Galaxy Book Two Pro. The final thing uh, that I want to talk about is is looking at the future, right? Um, there are a lot of interesting things you can do when you have access to the CPU and the GPU and you fund most of these notebook designs, which uh, unlike AMD, uh, Intel does uh, more than anybody. And there are some interesting things you can do with power. There are some interesting things you can do with actually sharing um, performance between the iGPU and the discrete ARC uh, GPU. Um, so, you know, I, I think that's really what I'm looking at is can Intel do what AMD can't by integrating the CPU and uh, the GPU? Yeah, first of all, this was a big announcement. Uh, we've all been sort of waiting on the edge of our seats to see can Intel come into this space? Can they not only enter it, can they be good at it? Uh, Intel's been under a lot of pressure across the business to grow, to diversify. We heard at Investor Day, Pat seemed, uh, Pat Gelsinger, not Pat Moorhead, although both of you are semiconductor bulls, seemed very optimistic that the ARC business would be important and meaningful and somewhat a quick trajectory to get into the b -b 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 billions of dollars of revenue for Intel. Um, of course, gaming is an opportunity. I do think uh, Intel's always had on the you know, desktop side, some pretty strong support in, in specific areas related to um, to GPUs, but on the on the mo on the sorry on the PC on the uh, you know uh, laptops, it's been slow, and this is what we've been waiting for. So the gaming is going to be an area that we're going to have to watch closely to see if they can enter, if they can compete, if they can be successful. Of course, with their relationships and the OEMs, they will get SKUs that will be. In inclusive of their their uh, new Arc um, GPUs, and that will be a great way to get into it. We've already seen uh, Samsung, Acer, Dell, Lenovo all are making commitments to play in this space. Uh, as they go up up the stream with Arc 5 and Arc 7, will those provide uh, more of a strength and competition to the, the 
AMD and, and NVIDIA, SKUs. Remember, those, those companies, it's not just about the technology. It's like a religion. And so that's going to be the real question is, you know, will Intel be able to find religion within that gaming community? Another couple interesting things, though, Pat, that is probably worth mentioning is there is an opportunity for growth in this space that isn't just related to gaming. Um, you know, growth related to data and analytics. You know, in uh, Mike Diamond's research note from our team, he put it out. He basically talked about the mathematicians, st statisticians, and how fast that business is growing. Um, 3D sensing technologies for LiDAR, for instance, and how much that is growing. Um, all of these are going to be key areas for GPUs and their markets where Intel could potentially use its strength to enter to sell more volume. Um, so, you know, it's early days, Pat, but... Um, you know, I think uh, it, it said that the company is aiming to, to, to ship like about 4 million discrete GPUs in February alone. So there's an opportunity to move. Um, it's going to be competitive. This is one that we're going to have to come back to and say, did the company execute? I'm more confident than I've been in a long time in Intel under uh, Pat Gelsinger's leadership. But uh, it's going to be very, very tough sledding. Um, but I'm, I'm optimistic. So I'll leave it there. No, those were uh, those were good adders. And I think... Uh people too quickly forget the new businesses that Intel is is getting into. And you know, quite frankly, with the supply uh, at the level they're at, they're going to sell everyone that they can make. It's key for them to stick their positioning, though, in uh, in gaming. 